Hello, this is Catherine. Welcome to my channel, Oracle Intuitions. This is going to be your mind, body, and soul, or internal, external, and spirit uh, reading for August 3rd to August 10th. Guys, we are going deep. So I'm actually redoing the intro that I had previously made simply because after doing all these readings, I was like, holy, these are going deep. These are some truths. There is no holding back on these videos. So be prepared, latch on tight. We're going in, we're digging things out. Okay. I didn't hold back. Um, remember also, maybe you, might, you also might want to check your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs as well for extra messages. Hey guys, sorry if I end up pissing anyone off or getting upset. These are the messages that are coming through. Remember that they may not resonate with everybody. These are general readings. Take what does resonate with you. Leave the rest. All of the timelines for each sign are down below in the description box, as well as links to my Facebook, Instagram website, where you can message me regarding personal readings or any of the organites that you see on my table. These are all made by me. Um, let's just see here. So, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We're just going to get right into it. I also, you know, because I am using at least five decks here, all of the decks are down below in the description box. I hope I didn't leave anything out. Please, uh, click like if this reading does resonate you with you. Remember to also check your sun, moon, rising signs and please share the videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and take care. Capricorn, welcome to your reading for August 3rd to the 10th. We're looking into the mind, body, and spirit or internal, external, and the soul. Remember, this is an Aquarius full moon tonight, all right? So these energies that are coming through are going to play out throughout the week. These are things that we need to release, things that we really need to look deeply into, things that we need to possibly allow to come forward to us at this time, all right? Please remember that also that these are general readings. They may not resonate with everyone. Please also check your sun, moon, and rising signs for either extra messages or if for some reason reason this reading did not resonate with you all right let's take a look into capricorn for this upcoming week that tower mental state is the tower we've got the ace of pentacles uh within your external or within the body we've also got the star these are beautiful cards i'm not gonna lie um this is actually probably one of the best beginning readings we've gotten um you know, throughout, you know, the rest of the signs. So this is, this is beautiful. This tower coming through. So, so there might have been some sort of sudden realization. It could have actually been something suddenly that either happened, um, that really, I, I feel like you've let go. Okay. It feels like, you know, when this tower comes through, it basically breaks down our foundation of what it is that we were thinking. This could be something in a to our benefit, which I'm getting with this Ace of Pentacles and the star, what it feels like it might have just been the sun sort of suddenly real sun realization within yourself that you're going, Oh, this is what I'm truly wanting. This is this abundance that's coming through. There might have been some actual physical tower moment that is bringing you toward something new, something exciting. We're also getting this Ace of Pentacles, which is in the external state. This is absolute abundance. This is grounding. This, you know, this is the card of those earth signs, which I actually forgot. I was going to change these. So I'm going to do that right now, Capricorn. I apologize. I did want to bring in, you know, this earth type of energy. But what I'm really getting here is with this ace of pentacles how absolutely amazing is that is it feels like something and again because this is mental it might have been a breakdown in some sort of mental giving you a, a new mental clarity towards um, a direction that you want to go in and it feels like with this star card it's saying yes yes keep putting that energy towards this because you're bringing in those absolute possibilities of this being created for you. We've got this blending of this energies, this hope, this renewal, this star card is absolutely gorgeous when we're looking towards something new for the future. But again, you know, we might have to 
have some sort of mental clarity that really breaks down all that is that we know at this particular time. Okay. And, and sometimes this can be a little bit painful. Sometimes it can be a happy surprise that comes through. You know, you might just wake up and go, oh, I know exactly where it is that I need to go or what it is that I want to do in order to bring in through this abundance. You already have the blessing from the universe saying yes towards it. You just need to come to that um, decision or that realization of what it is. It could have been also something external that happened that is bringing you to a new um, focus where you're going, okay, look at this thing happened instead of staying stuck in this energy of the tower where I feel like I'm not rebuilding my foundation, I'm going to actually start towards that and here's how. And I feel like asking the message, the universe for those messages in order to bring about this new hope, this new perspective is what's going to make a lot of those realizations come to light. Okay, you may not know the exact path of how it is that you're going to create something or maybe with this tower moment, that's exactly what you did is you received that, you know, this is how I need to do it. I'm going to do it, but these things I need to break down first. Okay, these are mindsets that I need to break down first or these are beliefs or, you know, whatever it is that I need to release first in order to move forward. And again, that blessing from the universe is already coming in. So it feels as though you are absolutely on the right path to where it is that you are trying to achieve. Now, this also could be past energy where you had that tower moment and now you're on that path towards that ace of pentacles. Again, confirmation from the star that you are on that right path. It could be coming in throughout this week. So a allow it don't push it okay because i do feel with that tower it is going to be a sun realization this is what you know the tower does it's it's sudden it's not something that gradually happens over time it almost is like a push from the universe in order to get you started towards whatever path that it is that you are supposed to be on or that it is that you are desiring at this time so let's get some clarification cards we've got the moon in aries believe in yourself yeah um, you know, the, the hope card, we've got the star card. And I feel like with this, again, you know, it, it could be a realization that you're about to receive. Maybe it was just kind of thrown at you. It might be something that you've been, you know, you just suddenly woke up and had again, you know, on that path to abundance, whatever it is that you're trying to bring forward you have to have that belief, that courage to go ahead. And sometimes that tower moment pushes us into having that sense of courage. Okay. Um, a change of heart. Yeah. You, you know, reevaluation. And the interesting thing is it, it very well could be that you have to reevaluate because when we've got this tower moment, it's kind of like, you know, this big empty tower goes down or it falls down or whatever happens and all of a sudden we're like whoa I have to make some changes here we have to have a change of heart and it very well could be maybe you were on another path that you thought that you you wanted but that tower is now coming in and saying look at you know um you might have that real that that thought like this isn't what I wanted I actually want this change of heart coming through believe in yourself to take those steps forward it's also coming through with the eclipse in e Capricorn. Reevaluate success. Exactly. There's a lot of reevaluation in here, and it's because of this tower moment. And, you know, with that reevaluate success, we might have been on a path that we thought was going to be more successful. But our true happiness, because when we've got this Ace of Pentacles, it's also about happiness, abundance in all areas of our life. It's not just financial, but it's emotional, mental. It's a grounding energy, right? It's making us feel grounded we're feeling more stable walking towards it what i'm really getting here is we might have to reevaluate re maybe our thoughts where hey look at i wanted this but this actually feels better for me reevaluate su 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 success even if what you were maybe going towards seemed more profitable or more financially secure whatever it is if you're not truly happy going towards it and again a change of heart Okay, a change of heart. Listen to your heart is what I'm getting. Also, believe in yourself. Even if it doesn't seem like, you know, the the most successful path, if it's something that you have that true desire, 
start going towards it, especially with that star card coming through. Now we've got, should I stay or should I go? Exactly. Exactly. Should I stay or should I go? Reevaluate success. This is exactly what it's telling you to do. Do I stay in this mindset? Even though this isn't really where my heart is going, where I'm not going to get that true abundance all around. It might give me some sort of, you know, uh, abundance in an area. It might be a financial success, but I freaking hate it. Right? Should I stay or should I go? Follow the heart is what I'm really getting here. It says here, stand firm in the eye of the full storm. Yeah, because sometimes, and again, you know, this is talking about regeneration, re like like the transformation it's okay to transform what it is even if you started on a certain path now is the right time to do it transform regenerate regenerate your mind regenerate your thoughts regenerate your movement toward what it is that you actually desire okay we've got you reap what you sow i feel like for some of you um There's a feeling here, there's a feeling here of not, um, believe, like again, we, you know, we go back to that believe in yourself, okay? And I feel that for some of you, there might have been a lack of belief towards yourself, which brought about this element of you reap what you sow. Okay, now this doesn't mean that you're being punished in any way, okay? I don't want anyone to take it like that. But again, with the law of attraction, where we're putting our energy is really where that energy is going to come from. So if we're thinking, you know, look at, I really want this abundance, but I'm stuck in this other mindset, this might be the week that that's all going to crash down and you're finally believing in yourself. You're finally allowing yourself to be looking at it and going, you know what? Hey, law of attraction says if I'm putting out this vibration, this is what I'm going to receive. I'm now putting out this vibration, this positivity, this abundance, this um, rejuvenation towards something else. And I am going to receive it now because I'm going to reap what I sow. So if I am sowing a more positive mindset, a different set of abundance, I am going to receive this. Okay. Shine brightly like the star that you are. I love that. Okay. I love that simply because it, it kind of just ties in exactly what I was saying. You know, I do feel that for some of you, you might have had a lack of a mind, like a, a mindset that was set in lack Capricorn, you know, rather than the full achievement of what it is that you could accomplish, you might be looking at a smaller picture rather than the big picture. And the star card coming in is saying, look at that big picture. Look at the full abundance that you are able to receive. Okay. Don't get stuck in the small, um, um, abundance. Don't, don't get started, you know, stuck in this, well, you know, I really want this, but I'll settle for, okay. No, no, no. Enough of that nonsense. Move forward, move forward. This is what you want. Start going for it. And I feel like that realization that you can receive it is coming through. It could be the realization of what it is that you want. We've also got scale mountains to gain a, a sense of accomplishment. Exactly. It feels like, you know, um, I'm also receiving here though, too, and it's funny because we've, you know, this is, this is Capricorn, right? Moon and Capricorn. This could be moon, sun, you know, rising Venus, however it is, but this accomplishment and, you know, Capricorns are great at accomplishing. They have this sense of a higher realm. And I feel though that for some of you, you might have, you know, gone through this period where you weren't accomplishing what it was that you truly wanted to accomplish. You got, again, stuck in some sort of mindset that you weren't either good enough or maybe you couldn't achieve it, whatever it was. And I feel like, again, tower coming through, breaking that down, allowing you to now start scaling that mountain, going towards what it is that you need to, or that you want to receive. The other thing I'm actually receiving in here is one other thing, is when we scale a mountain, we have to also remember, sometimes it doesn't happen overnight, okay? It's, you know, you're not going to reach the top of Mount Everest in an hour, right? This is going to take some time. So, you know, but putting that energy towards it is the beginning of that building. And that's why that star card is coming through as well. You've got the hope there. Okay. doesn't mean it's instantly manifesting. 
it is manifesting with the energy that you're putting towards it in order to accomplish what it is that you're trying to um, manifest. That's what I keep getting. So don't be disappointed if for some reason, because I do feel like that could be part of that mindset of not moving forward is you might be thinking, oh, this could take years or this could take whatever. You know, I, I don't know if I don't know, you know, if, if this is what I, I want or whatever, maybe it's going to take too much time, you know, building up that disappointment. I feel like that tower is coming through and just saying literally snap out of it. Okay, time to move forward. All right. If you've been held back, um, you know, because you think that it's going to take a long time, what's well, going to take even longer if you don't start putting that effort towards it now, right? doesn't need to be big efforts, but it needs to be some sort of effort. A passionate, intense, or mysterious phase. I love this. And we've got this passion card. For some of you, this actually might have to do with actual relationships, okay? But I do feel, again, putting that passion towards what it is that you're, you're desiring, putting that passion actually towards it, making those accomplishments. This is, this is a mysterious phase, okay put the passion put the intensity in there um i know capricorns they are passionate and intense to begin with you know they have they they know what they're trying to achieve and they've you know they can sometimes have tunnel vision because of the fact of you know they're going forward you know in creating it and here's the thing that is exactly what you need to do but we have to make sure that this tower moment doesn't come in to stop us because at the same time even though they've got this passion and intensity going towards what it is that they desire they also sometimes can get caught into the brain waves of what it is that they're not accomplishing and it can bring them down it can bring them into a place where they're not feeling like they're fulfilling what it is that they're they're trying to uh, achieve right and that's where I'm feeling is like keep going even if you're not seeing the results right away that's okay mountains sometimes takes you know take some time to scale it doesn't mean that this is never going to happen it doesn't mean that it's going to take years it doesn't mean anything like that because as soon as we start putting that passion and that energy towards it it really starts growing faster and if any of you you know if you have a garden or a flower or whatever it is you know if you ignore the flower it's not going to grow right? You start watering it, carrying it, nurturing it, and you start putting that energy toward it. You're going to see that flower bloom and, and manifest it. it, it it's funny because it's just even has those flowers around it. <laughs> and, you know, that's, that's what I keep seeing, right? You, you've got to nurture it. You've got to nurture that dream in order to create it. Like the star card, you know, nurture it, blend those energies. Don't, don't sit around in this tower type of energy, you know, allow the realization of what it is that you need to do, build it, manifest it, create it, it's coming to you is what I've got. And again, you are being fully supported by the universe during this time. So let's take a look into relationships for Capricorn and see what is coming through. All right. Give me a second to grab the cards here. <clears throat> All right, what is coming through for Capricorn, for relationships, for this upcoming week, for August 3rd to the 10th? I know you guys can probably hear the wind outside. I'm sorry, we're actually about to head into like a really bad thunderstorm from the sounds of it, so we'll see how that goes. But hopefully you can hear me fine might be a little annoying to hear the wind I apologize if I close the window though we've had a heat wave this week so if you close the window and we don't have air conditioning here so um if you close the window it'd be like an absolute oven so I can't I have to kind of keep it open all right here we go relationships for Capricorn for this upcoming week we have coming through heart-to-heart -heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other this could be within a current relationship at the time express your love yeah go ahead and make the romantic gesture and 
forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you're, you experience more love in your present moments so i feel like this most definitely could be for those that are already in relationships it also could relate to people that are single or you have a person of interest i do feel that there is some need for that uh forgiveness to come in okay it really feels like this is going to be important throughout this week it also feels like this might be a time where you need to sit with your partner literally have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation and express your true love for each other especially if you are desiring you know and that ace of pentacles with that star this also could have to do with those singles or the people that have a person of interest it might be you might not even what I'm getting here is that if you want that abundance, okay, it, this heart-to-heart -heart conversation could be with a particular person. It could even be within yourself. But I do feel that there needs to be some sort of forgiveness. This is for both couples and singles. Uh, there needs to be some sort of forgiveness either towards your partner or towards past partners or even towards yourself in order any this heart-to-heart -heart conversation this again this could relate to both you know where you have to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation perhaps with yourself really look maybe it's time to take a step back and look at it from a different perspective either from you know um, like a third um, third person point of view right or maybe you actually have to have that conversation with somebody in regards to expressing your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. I really do feel like there's, this actually feels like, um, again, that abundance coming through because I feel like you have this goal. And again, it could have to do with relationships. It could be a separate issue. But I feel like for some of you, that relationship, that ultimate relationship, that beautiful compassion, that abundance, that you, that abundant feeling that you, you feel within a relationship does need to have maybe perhaps that tower moment. And again, that forgiving and learning. Sometimes when we go through that forgiving and learning, we really do go through a tower moment because we realize, holy cow, like we are cleared. We are clear. We're now ready to move ahead and express our love or have somebody express their love towards us, okay? Because we're not hanging on to that old baggage, that old crap anymore. We're actually allowing ourselves to, um, to move forward. We're allowing ourselves to receive what that star card is trying to bring forward to us, all right? So let's get some clarifying cards in regards to relationships i actually really like this i i do i feel like there's something coming through here that it feels like it almost brings either somebody back together or it heals some like i feel a lot of healing energy within this so this could again be healing yourself in order to receive the relationship that you are desiring or it very well could be actually healing some sort of relationship that you're currently in at the moment even if there was just little things that maybe you guys were picking on each other maybe you felt that there was you know somebody was living up to some sort of expectations and that's okay you know here's the thing again heart to heart conversations be open honest really do some forgiving and allow yourself to listen to that other person as well and express express your love all right singles same thing forgiving and learning heart to heart conversation could be within yourself all right okay clarifying four we've got forgiving and learning we've got bring it yeah bring it on you know again tower moment this is how i feel forgiving and learning bring it it feels like i am ready to go through what past trauma or baggage or whatever it was anything that i was hanging on to boom bam get it out right bring it on Bring it on so I can release it in order to bring in this new um, abundance that I feel coming through. That's what I keep getting. We've also got from scratch, okay? And I feel like I'm the F word. So interesting enough, there might be somebody that... <laughs> Sometimes we hang on to things. So I'm getting a couple of things. Sometimes we hang on to things. And, you know, when we have that tower moment, we go through that forgiving and learning. You know, it's kind of like the F word, like, uh, freak off, right? Don't need you. Don't need that. I'm starting over from scratch. I'm bringing in a new beginning. Okay? That's what I feel for some. That's going to resonate with some of you out there. What I'm also getting here is it feels like you may need to scratch the surface. 
Okay, this isn't a surface thing. We need to get in. We really need to dig. We need to bring it on. Bring on all of that junk that I'm hanging on to. I'm going to say F it, get rid of it in some way, do the clearing and the releasing that I need. Okay, that heart to heart conversation. Again, that could be within yourself. Release it in order to bring in either this person that wants to express their love to you or possibly coming in in the future, you know, to express their love. It feels like there's a relationship of some sort coming through here. Again, with couples, it might be just the matter of, look at, I've been hanging on to this garbage that I don't need to. I really actually care about this person. I really love this person, but I'm hanging on to all of this junk. Let's start over. Let's, you know, get rid of it. Start it from scratch. All right. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows everywhere. What a beautiful card. Um, also number 11. So I really do feel like there is some sort of relationship that is going to either have a rejuvenation or it's going to be brought to you through this process. It may not happen this week, especially for those that are, you know, currently single or, you know, maybe possibly there's a person of interest it could be that they want to come through and have that conversation with you which brings you to this place of that sunshine lollipops and rainbows everywhere gps coming through and also we've got the bunny hop jive interesting because i feel like with the gps whenever i see that card it feels like somebody is coming towards you like i just said gps coming towards you and i feel like this is going to put you in that place of happiness in some way again it might not be this week that they come through because there is some clearing and healing that needs to happen for those in relationships you know starting off that heart to heart conversation expressing that love it may not heal everything overnight but it is the start towards it right I can never pronounce this word, but I'm going to go with magnificent me. Okay, because I can't pronounce whatever this is. Um, but I, I look at it as magnificent me. Have that strength and that courage within yourself. Again, you know, that abundance card coming through. We've got, um, you know, what did we have here? We had the star. We had the ace of pentacles, right? And we had the tower. So break down all your old inhibitions break down all the the you know the self um depleting words and nonsense or whatever it is that you've been telling yourself or maybe it's toward another person allow them to be magnificent within themselves allow you to be magnificent within yourself break down all of the nonsense that could be putting up those blocks or barriers okay that is bringing about this even even this need for that forgiving and learning to move forward right we've also got pick up after yourself and heartbeat you know what i love okay so if it, for some of you especially couples maybe this is a message <laughs> either to you or your partner right pick up after yourself get your crap together time to go whether it's actually picking up after themselves in a physical sense or maybe an emotional or mental state it also could have to relate to you right pick up after yourself here's the thing is that when we are cluttering uh, our mind our body even our personal space it really doesn't allow us to bring in something new because we're cluttered whether this is again you know mind body spirit however it is we want to release that and again that tower moment coming through this is a breakdown of all it is that you know it's like that realization it's that sun realization that that brings about you know this new perspective okay you might just look at it you might even just wake up one day it could be as simple as that you might wake up one day have that tower moment and go you know dang how am i you know you know what here i keep hearing this you know there is a there's a thing with the law of attraction. One of the things that they talk about is like, look at if you're trying to draw in a, a partner, let's say you want to have a marriage and you're not in that marriage yet, and you want to have that person, clean out your closet because how are you going to put somebody else's clothes in there if it's all cluttered with other crap, right? So you want to put that mindset towards you know, building what it is that you want to create. Start the building of it. That Again, that tower. Because when we bring that tower down to the ashes, we have to rebuild it. So rebuild what it is that you're trying to draw in. 
that heartbeat i feel like again putting that energy towards it when we've got that heartbeat when we when we're excited about something we're looking at it in a wow it's really storming out there like crazy storming so i'm just gonna keep talking <laughs> but um when we you know when we put our our that heartbeat okay it's like your heart beats faster you feel the excitement to something this is what you need to feel in order to draw what it is that you're desiring you want to start putting that energy towards it so again that tower moment coming through release whatever it is that you're hanging on to that's not allowing you to feel that excitement whether it's within a current relationship a past relationship or a, a relationship that you're trying to draw in you need to release the past relationship but put that new that that new excitement that heartbeat okay that's what i keep feeling it's like that feeling that energy of that relationship being here and being now that's what i keep feeling and also you know speaking of that right when we go into a present moment when we're in the here and now when we're allowing those now moments to come through really we are sort of we we're allowing ourselves to be in the state of what it is that we're trying to bring in right bottom line if you're living in a state of you know knowing that you've already received what it is that you're trying to create your heart beats faster you feel excited you're putting that energy towards it that's what the universe needs to feel okay so let's take a look into a closing message from the universe for you capricorn and see what it has to say all right coming through first thing alchemy Again, the blending of energies. I feel like there's some sort of forgiving. There's some sort of allowing. There's some sort of creating what it is that you want to create. You can't, you know, this is like that. We had that star card, didn't we? You know, um, look at that. All right. Build hope, passion. Okay. Start creating. Have, you know, this, this is, this is like, She's pouring, you know, she's got the fire and ice in the back. She's pouring from the two, like blending those energies, all right? Start creating what it is that you want to create. We've also got the sexual art. So again, this could have something to do with particular couples out there or somebody who's in a relationship. But sexual arts doesn't always need to pertain exactly to um, sex. It is just talking about also intimacy, okay? So allowing yourself those intimate moments with yourself, looking deeper into yourself of what it is that you're truly wanting, what it is that you're truly allowing. Open up your heart, your mind, and your soul towards the person that you're with if you are in a relationship. It's allowing that intimacy that is going to bring you closer and allow this alchemy to start coming together, right? the blending of energies is what I keep getting for you and you know it's funny because if you look at this card you've got it almost looks like this you know it almost has a, a fire and water sort of energy to it as well okay that's what I keep feeling it's like becoming closer and intimate with yourself really discovering what it is allow that tower moment to really come through break down to the ashes whatever it is whatever mindset it is whatever thoughts, whatever is holding you back, right? Take a look, be vulnerable. That's what I keep hearing, be vulnerable because that tower is very, it's a very, um, it's, a, it, it's an energy that does create that vulnerability, all right? We're left with like, you know, we have to rebuild that foundation and that's okay. Have that vulnerability is what I keep feeling. So let's get some closing eight of swords yeah it's uh tower eight of swords don't hold yourself back again i felt into you know uh vulnerability coming through these are if you hold yourself back from receiving this tower moment from allowing it to come through you're not going into a place of being vulnerable okay is what I'm getting I'm also really getting here you need to just kind of uh, I, I just feel like you need to go with this energy because it's going to bring about those new realizations that let that um, allowance of that abundance coming through and look at this 
Six of Pentacles, okay? Again, this is like a balance, you know, this is giving towards something, receiving, allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to give in some sort of way within your energy, okay? It's not always about receiving, it's not always about giving. I feel like it's time to really balance out those energies, right? So I truly hope that that has helped Capricorn. If this reading has resonated with you, please click like, please subscribe, please share my videos. I wish you the most blessed of weeks and thank you. Take care. Virgo, welcome to your reading for August 3rd to the 10th. We're looking into mind, body, and spirit or internal, external, and the soul. This is the Aquarius moon tonight. It goes into... Uh, you know, it's, it's coming into a full moon, but these energies are for the week ahead, all right? Please remember that this is a miraculous time for us right now. It's allowing us to release. It's allowing us to receive. These are some deep truths that are coming through that you may need to hear, but please remember that these are general readings. They may not resonate with everyone, and that is okay. Also, check your sun, moon, and rising signs, okay? So let's take a look here. We're also getting some clarification. And we're going to be looking into relationships as well as a closing message from the universe. So let's start with this mind, body, and spirit. What's coming through for Virgo? We've got the Ten of Swords. We've also got the King of Cups. And we have the Justice card. Beautiful. Okay, so this is what I'm getting mindset you're releasing something this this something is done okay you're, it feels like i'm honestly what i'm getting here is you're getting into a new set of a balance within yourself you could be um this could be within relationships we've got this ten of uh night this king of cups coming through this could be externally where somebody's coming towards you this also could be you becoming in check with your emotions in some manner this king of cups this also could do with some sort of water sign that could be possibly presenting themselves some way but i feel that within your mind you're either in an energy of you thought something was over and there's going to be something coming through that is bringing a new sense of balance but it also could be that you're releasing a set a, a mindset of some sort okay and you're going into a new emotional phase throughout this week it's like you're releasing feelings that you may have been hanging on to and I again because it's mental it might be some sort of um something that was bringing some sort of agony towards you whether this is a mindset whether it was an actual event it could have been a person whatever it was you're in this energy of okay I'm done with this these thoughts I'm done now with these thoughts. I'm ready for no, something new to come through. We've got this King of Cups coming through. And again, you know, he is all about emotional stability, right? He brings in emotional stability to, to the, the person. And I feel like, again, because he's in this emotional state, this actually literally could be somebody who is emotionally mature coming towards you they're in a place now where they're emotionally mature you may have thought something was over maybe it's going about to be rejuvenated there you go i do sense this feeling of balance coming through but again this could be within yourself where you're just reaching you know a letting go of some sort of emotional or some sort of mindset which is bringing in this new emotional uh energy you're now balancing yourself i'm starting to lose my voice um, but you're getting into this place of balance. This could be some sort of justice that is coming towards you as well, literally, with injustice. This person, or <clears throat> whatever it is, this also could have to do with some sort of legal procedures. Maybe they're in some sort of legal field, some sort of, you know, field that has to do with um, law. Whether it's corrections, it could be a peace office, whatever it is. I mean, but what I'm getting here is that there is a new sense of balance that is coming in here. All right. You're balancing. The universe spirit is helping you balance these things. It's interesting because we've got this ten of swords, which is like, oh, this is ended. Something is done. A, a mindset of some sort that you're re completely releasing. And then you've got this king of cups energy, which is bringing in a new rejuvenation towards an energy okay whether this is a person place or thing this could be even having to do with career maybe you're in some sort of career of law or justice of some sort but what i'm really getting here is 
something new is being developed, okay, because of this ending of a mental state or a mindset, all right? So let's see what is happening. Let's get some clarifying cards towards this. I actually really like these cards, to be honest, because it does. It feels as though, you know, whatever you let go of, it, you know, it, the Ten of Swords, that's not, a, it's not an easy card. You've either about to let go of it or it's already been let go of okay either way you might be going through this so you know prepare yourself right it's an emotionally hard state it's a, it's a it's a hard mindset to get ourselves into but remember that balancing that out brings about a new emotional field it brings about a new emotional allowance to come to you whether this is a person place or thing so let's clarify let's see what's coming through through the ten of swords ha huh, look at that virgo endeavor you reap what you sow yeah and you know here's the thing when you're stuck in that mindset that ten of swords like you're thinking oh i'm never going to get this i'm never going to get that this is you know whatever it is it does bring about that by the law of attraction, that is exactly what we receive. And I feel like because you're allowing this to end now, you're allowing this mindset to end. It's like you have that realization, that balancing out, that, re, um, that rejuvenation towards allowing something new to come in, a new mindset, okay? You're endeavoring toward it is what I keep getting. So we've, oh, look at that. I was talking about relationships. Bring peace to your life and your relationships will flourish. Love. So it feels like if you were in this mindset of, you know, things aren't happening, this isn't going well, I'm never going to find this, whatever it is that you're telling yourself or that's been, you know, um, worming its way around your brain, it's time to really let it go because that is the exact, um, exactly what you're going to bring in, getting into this place of love. And again, you know, we have this King of Cups coming through emotional maturity. Okay, it's like bringing yourself to a new state of some sort of emotional maturity is what I'm also getting. You might be becoming more emotionally mature yourself, balancing out your emotions, right? believe in yourself yeah courage okay it does you have to believe in yourself again releasing that old mindset is what i keep getting amazing i love it a change in your emotion <laughs> can't make this up virgo can't make this up a change in your emotional life exactly what i just said transformation okay you're transforming from one state to this new state is what i'm receiving okay balance balancing those emotions instead of looking at like everything sucks you're now looking at hey look at i'm an emotionally mature person or maybe you're letting go of some baggage maybe you're just removing yourself from some sort of past trauma some sort of past incidents some sort of situations that brought you into this place of these endings that you're feeling but again you're bringing about something new uh, we've got Leo, let your inner, inner hero out. And it talks about heroism. Be your own hero is what I'm getting. For some of you, this very well could be, because you've let go of this mindset, this could be that King of Cups coming through. Maybe to some degree he's a hero. We should never put anybody into a hero worship stance. But I keep hearing kind of like a knight in shining armor coming through or somebody who is attracted to this new brand new energy that you have and they might be coming through for you, okay? Never put anybody on a pedestal though, okay? Last thing you want to do, but you get what I'm saying, okay? They might be coming through and you might be looking at them going, holy cow, like how did this happen, right? I was in this mindset and now look at this new beginning is starting, boost relationships through teamwork and compromise. I do feel that for some of you, there might be a need for compromise in some way. I do feel again, compromise, you know, we're looking at this justice card, balancing things out. Sometimes what sets us back and puts us into this mindset is our own, our own lack of being able to collaborate okay or negotiate with somebody we might be in this place of look at i want all or nothing or you're not behaving in the way that i you know i expect or you know you're not behaving in the way that my best friend's husband behaves and so 
you know, I'm going to feel all depressed. What we have to remember is that we're going to, you know, not everybody's going to be the same. Everybody has a different love language is what I keep hearing too. Sometimes we need to negotiate that. All right. If you're not in the same love language as somebody, you might need to look at that. Maybe they're not expressive people. All right. Maybe you're the type of person that needs to hear I love you every five minutes. Maybe it's vice versa. Maybe it's something else. But what we have to do is we have to negotiate and collaborate. We have to look at something in the extent of, okay, you know, even though I'm the type of person that I want to hear, you know, I love you all the time, maybe they're just not that type of person that expresses it, okay? And again, could be vice versa. Maybe they need more attention and you're just not that type of person. That's okay, you know? But again, need for the collaboration, the need for negotiation. It's also about speaking clearly, speaking, speaking what is on your mind truthfully, okay? It says follow your dreams. So I do, again, if, if this has to do with something outside of relationships or not an emotional experience, although I, we are getting a lot of emotion coming through here, it does say follow your dreams. This could have to do with... Um, you know, career, another aspect within your life. Again, take it as it resonates. It's not all going to uh, resonate with you, even though I say, if I say career or relationship, that might not resonate with you, but you know the area that it, it where it does land in, and that's what you need to really focus on, okay? But it does say follow your dreams. Allow yourself to get out of this Ten of Swords energy. Believe in yourself. Follow your dreams, okay? Follow your dreams of what it is that you are desiring at this time. It also talks about, um, I can really hear that thunder coming through, hey? Let your inner hero out, all right? Follow your dreams. Have that courage, okay? I do believe that we did have that courage card coming through here or something like that, okay? But I do feel that there needs to be some sort of looking at yourself as your own hero, right? Releasing this, you know, sometimes that Ten of Swords energy, especially if it's in a mindset, this could also be some sort of victim mentality where you're just feeling, oh, this is never going to happen. Woe is me, whatever it is. It's time to get lo let go of that, okay? Become your own hero in order to not only balance yourself, but to be able to give you that courage to follow your own dreams, right? We've also got communication. Hone your negotiation and relationship skills. We're getting a lot of that. Look at that negotiate. Oh, this is teamwork and compromise, and this is negotiation and relationship skills. Either way, kind of the same thing. Communication, collaboration, all right? Things don't always need to be your way. Things don't always need to be the other person's way. The important thing is, is the balance. And that's what you might be looking at this week. All right. Letting go of a particular mindset and, and getting yourself out of this has to be, you know, my way or the highway, whatever it is, allowing this energy to come through this new emotional maturity is what I keep feeling. And this could be the other person, could be you, right? Um, but that is how, because this is an external place. All right. This is with the body. This is external. I do feel that there is some sort of emotional experience that is about to come close to you or trying to come close to you. Right. Again, it could even be that uh, Scorpio. It could also, you know, be an air sign. We've got two Aries in here. We've got the Libra. We've got the Virgo, another, you know, earth sign, another air sign in here. But here's the thing. You know, I do feel we've got the Scorpio, Pisces. What I'm getting here, what I'm getting here, it's about balance. About balance. Okay? Negotiation. Reviewing. All right? Taking a look at what it is, how you can create a collaboration between the two of you compromise right you need to compromise in some way it doesn't mean to settle okay if somebody's just being a jerk you know if you say look at I'd like to you know go out for dinner once in a while and they're saying well I never want to leave the house again that's not a compromise right that does but at the same degree 
you know, if, if you're saying, look at, I want to go out every night for dinner and they're like, how about we negotiate it down to like two nights a week? Cool. Get what I'm saying? All right. You don't need to settle, but at the same degree, being too rigid within some things isn't, you know, that opportunity to create that teamwork and compromise, right? And through that teamwork and compromise, we usually find that somebody else is, you know, with that new energy coming through, they're usually in a place of wanting to be more loving, more generous with their emotions, more open with their emotions, simply because of the fact that they know that they can actually come to you with an open an honest conversation rather than it just being blocked off and unbalanced we're creating a new sense of balance within this right doesn't always need to be your way that's what I keep hearing doesn't always need to be your way it can be a balance between the two of you right as much as we would love to always have our way it's not gonna happen all right or you know it could happen but you just might be alone while it's happening <laughs> plain and simple <laughs> you know <laughs> enjoy enjoy by yourself but you know we want to have that compromise because we want that other person to feel that they have that emotional um satisfaction is too it's not always about what we want or it, again take it as it resonates it might not be that it could be within work right maybe you need to compromise something for work maybe it's career right it might even be looking at letting go uh, with that ten of swords it could even be letting go of a mindset in regards to your career in order to bring about a new emotional experience like a new way to balance a new maybe this could even be promotion or maybe you're wanting to advance your career in some sort but if you're stuck in a mindset you're not allowing yourself that you know, even that emotional experience towards what it is it's really hard to balance it and it's hard to bring that experience to this uh 3d reality right okay let's see what we have for relationships for virgo i just feel like this week yeah it's it's all about it's all about balance all right balance compromise like i said teamwork different things coming through all right let's take a look at what we're getting for virgo for relationships trust look at that this situation is calling for you to have faith amazing because we get into that ten of swords energy and it really can block us off we need to release it we need to have the faith that this th this experience is coming towards us even if we're not seeing it at this moment retreat let go of that ten of swords energy again time to disconnect from the world sometimes we need to go into ourselves in order to really fully comprehend what is bringing us into this place of a negative mindset or this ten of swords energy and we've also got religious factors your love life is influenced by your spiritual upbringing and spiritual path what i'm actually getting for this now this could actually play out for you know some of you uh virgos out there take it as it resonates again but what i'm also getting here is that as you ascend as you ascend okay sometimes when we go through that ten of swords energy where we're bringing in something new or we're allowing a new mindset what we're doing is we're actually raising our vibration we're actually ascending to a new level and that can actually be difficult for people around us okay it also might be maybe you're on a different spiritual path than somebody but again we've got negotiation and compromise just because you have different um, possible religious ideologies or maybe you're on a different spiritual path than somebody that's okay right again negotiate compromise right i'm also hearing too that you may need to retreat into yourself in order, order to fully um, integrate what this is okay if for some of you there are a lot of um, people right now that are going through a sense of ascension all right maybe this isn't the best time to be seeking a relationship right now until we're fully in a place of balance okay maybe we need to balance ourselves in some way and the best way to do that is to go into a retreat of ourselves now the other thing i'm feeling too 
wow, that lightning is, that thunder and lightning, it's just crazy out there right now. What I'm also getting, um, if there is, you know, if this is within a relationship and, you know, there are issues within this religious factor, again, you have to follow your heart. You have to trust yourself. You have to follow your heart. Um, if somebody is pushing something on you that you're not believing, and I'm going to be honest with you right now, there's so many contradictory um, things that are going on, you know, outside, <laughs> across the world. We're hearing this, we're hearing that. Trust yourself. And if you need to, take a step back. If somebody's pushing their ideas or their thoughts that you're not agreeing with, that's okay. Just take a step back. Okay. Um, you know, you might be able to try to compromise or negotiate with them, but at the same degree, you might just have to retreat a little bit and, you know, let them figure it out. Maybe it's their spiritual path. That's what I'm also receiving. What I'm getting here mostly though, is this situation requires you to have some faith. Okay. So if you're seeking a relationship, maybe you're possibly, there is a person of interest. This could be even within your own relationship. If you're in a current and solid and stable relationship, there could be just a feeling of trust. And again, I keep getting, you know, that negotiation, compromise, right? Working things through. Whether it's you that has to compromise, whether it's the other person, maybe it's the both of you, having that balance is what is going to bring this relationship forward. You might even need to retreat. Maybe you even need to retreat and look at, and, into yourself and go look at, you know what, am I being um, uncompromising at this point in time? Take a serious look at it, right? Let's get some clarifying cards, talking smack. We've got free smart falling and we've also got knock knock. So here's the thing, that ten of swords energy, that talking smack, what I got with it is that again could go into a mindset of poor woe is me, this is never going to happen, yada 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 yada, you know, and it brings us into this negative mindset, right? And that's what I keep getting. And I feel like, you know, this free falling, what I'm getting here is I feel like this could have to literally do with letting go free falling, having faith and trust. In order to free fall, we have to have faith. Have faith that things are happening for us. Have faith that things are coming around for us. And then that's when we hear that. Hello, here I am. Here's love right at your doorstep or a new emotional experience of sort, right? That's what I'm getting. So let's go. Bring it. Yeah. See, bring it. You want that person to come through or you want that rejuvenation within a relationship or you want to increase, you know, something to do with that relationship or, you know, this doesn't need to be within, um, this doesn't need to be romantic. It can be friends, family, coworkers, however it is, however it resonates with you, but really take a look at it because it feels like letting go of that mindset is what is going to be bringing it, right? That's when you hear that knock on the door of something through even through that negotiation and compromise it's bringing something beautiful look at that leaping in love leaping in love having the trust having the faith going into yourself allowing yourself to ascend it could even very well be that this person is on a higher vibrational level and you can't reach that vibrational level if you're stuck in that ten of swords what was me energy you have to release that Okay, you have to release that. You have to let it go. Go into yourself, release it in order for your own vibrations to come up and meet this person where they are, or it could be them meeting where you are. Take it as it resonates. Baby steps. Yeah, it doesn't happen overnight, but you have to have that faith and trust that it is happening. Okay, somebody might not even be moving as fast as you would like them to go. Maybe they have to retreat into themselves in order to raise, again, raise up their vibration or, you know, come to some sort of realization of faith and trust that this relationship could work. Sometimes people get caught into their own, you know, BS, right? And and they, they're like, oh, I really want this relationship, but I'm so caught up in my own crap and my own baggage that I don't know if I could get it. And there's, you know as much as they're scared of losing it, but at the same time, they, you know, aren't willing to completely embrace it at this point because they're not quite ready. Maybe it's baby steps, you know, whether it's for you or for, for them, maybe there's baby steps that are needed to be taken 
and again having to do with that retreat maybe going into themselves maybe they're going to step forward you know it almost reminds me of like um you know like a little creature like a little animal or something and it's like you know if you go towards them you know these people retreat or this animal retreats right they retreat into their shell and then they start taking these little baby steps forward and we have to be in a place where maybe you know if you're willing to accept them as they are or you're really wanting let's say this relationship you know in the future have the faith and trust that you're going to be bring it there but also have that knowledge that you may have to compromise a bit maybe they're not ready you know to have the full meal deal at this point in time it doesn't mean that you have to settle for less it doesn't mean that you have to allow some sort of you know friends with benefits situation or some crap like that right what it's basically saying is saying look at i'm here you know we'll take baby steps toward this let's go step by step because it does reach this level of leaping in love but i'm going to i am going to emphasize again this doesn't need to be a compromise of your own personal beliefs okay i would never tell anybody to get in some sort of situation where there's not going to be an uh, you know some sort of positive um uh, conclusion to it okay whether this is moving into you know some sort of deeper relationship or whether it's moving into um you know just taking you know allowing like I said friends with benefits or you know I'll just call you at three in the morning when I want you but I'm taking baby steps because I'm really scared of having a relationship bull you know what <laughs> right don't settle Okay, but again, have that faith and that trust, all right? Have that faith and that trust. Take a look. You know your situation, so take this as it resonates with you. GPS, yeah, I do feel like somebody is trying to come towards, when I see the GPS, for me, it's like somebody coming towards, okay? It's like they've got your, they got your location. It doesn't mean stalker. I mean, but they, they know, like they, they, they want to come your way all right bunny hop jive for me it does feel it's almost like a like a renewed energy that bunny hop you know it's like excite you know it's fast paced right the, but i do feel that so we've got the baby steps we got this bunny hop jive it feels like fast pace slow pace all right take it as it resonates but i do feel that you might need to go through some sort of um challenge in order to bring about this you know, this energetic feeling of that bunny hop jive, that leaping in love, bring it on, okay? There might be slow progress towards it, but that progress I feel is going to be worth it. And then we've also got baggage be gone. Again, that 10 of swords energy coming through, all right? You've got to release what it is and they might have to release what it there is, what they have in order, you know? That's why where it might be with the baby steps. They have to release some of this stuff. Again, don't compromise, don't let, you know, I hate to say this, you know, because I, I hate putting people into that place. But there are a lot of people that say, oh, I'm not quite ready. And, you know, it's like I explained before. But, you know, I'll sleep with you once in a while and maybe work my way there. No, 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 no. Life doesn't freaking work like that. Get over it. Nope. You go fix your baggage. Baggage be gone. We'll take baby steps toward it in a solid way that is going to actually bring about that the relationship okay so again you know we do have to have that faith and trust but really take a look and that ten of swords energy that also could be very much talking about it maybe in the past you allowed that type of relationship to come through in some way which is why you could be holding yourself back from emotional experiences simply because of the fact that you um you know maybe you um allowed things to come through that you weren't really in that place of wanting right maybe you were sort of in this place of okay well that's all right that's all right you know he'll they'll they'll get better the they, they're going to want a relationship later on meanwhile i'll just keep letting them in at 11 o'clock at night or when they phone i'll just rush and get ready and whatever it is right and and that could be where that ten of swords energy is coming from as well again take it as it resonates but what we need to do is really allow those true emotional experiences to come through this person and again balance they have to be able to give as much as you are all right there has to be an equal balance so 
you will know because by the way you feel on the inside pay attention to your emotions is also what i'm getting with that king of cups energy right yes you can compromise and you can negotiate certain things but when that king of um when you're not feeling emotionally secure strong within yourself that that's the indication that something isn't quite right okay what you want to do is release that ten of swords that baggage be gone right get rid of it allow the emotional experiences but also stay within your own integrity okay and keep following your senses again it even could come through with that religious factors this could be talking about pay attention to you know because i kept feeling this was more spiritual okay pay attention to what spirit is telling you is this situation feeling good no okay well get get rid of it <laughs> right or change it or negotiate it but at the very least speak your mind and really you know ex explain like this this isn't working for me well let's negotiate and, and compromise and they they might go no and that's okay well see you later right whatever phoenix rising this has actually come up a few times i feel like there's a lot of ev evolving that's happening right now in sexuality yeah again you know this this could also be talking about getting into that vibration is what i feel getting into that vibration of your own sexuality recognizing your own worth and that's where that ten of swords energy i feel was kind of coming through it's like not recognizing your own worth embracing your own sexuality it doesn't mean to go around having sex with everyone unless that's your thing that's cool whatever do it do you but what i'm getting here is embracing your sexuality embracing it okay recognizing you for all of your worth and we've got this phoenix rising coming in beautiful card okay because once you embrace that sexuality you allow yourself to rise arise to this whole new level from dust and ashes to like this beautiful absolutely beautiful gorgeous phoenix look at this what's coming in the magician whoa sorry about that i just knocked something over <laughs> I, I hope that <laughs> whoever jumped and hit the ceiling, I truly apologize. Uh, but we've got this magician and we've got this three of cups coming in. Look at that, creating whatever it is that you want in order to bring about this happiness, this celebration, this new, this way of celebrating, this new, like feeling like you want to celebrate inside of you. But we've got this magician coming through. How absolutely gorgeous is that? You know, what he's saying here is that, you have all of the tools all right you don't need to stay in that mindset that ten of swords you can actually start releasing a lot of that remember that ten of swords also had that sun rising in the background allow yourself to go through those experiences allow yourself to release what it is get rid of that baggage create what it is that you want to create and embrace that sexuality embrace who you are you know the sexuality this is you know, this is about somebody who's dynamic she's gorgeous she's confident right She's all about it she's got it going on and that's what it's telling you embrace that okay raise yourself from those ashes to this absolutely beautiful phoenix in order to celebrate what life is coming through for you whatever it is that you're trying to manifest i feel it's coming but there are some steps in that you may have to go through in order to reach the full accomplishment of it all right so i truly hope that this has helped virgo if this reading resonated with you please click like please share my videos please subscribe hit the notification bell so you know when i'm uh, uploading a new video please take care and have a wonderful and most blessed week Taurus, welcome to your reading for April 3rd to April 10th. We're looking into mind, body, and spirit, or internal, external, and the soul, uh, whichever way you want to look at it. We're also looking into relationships, as well as we'll be pulling a card from the universe. All right, please remember that this is... If you listen to my intro, this is the Aquarius moon. This is a time for new beginnings, miracles to happen, renewed rejuvenation within some area of your life. This is the time that if you are working to, you know, towards a project or a goal, this is the time to really put that energy towards it at this moment. We're also going to be doing some clarification. So I'm just going to shuffle these up really quickly and see what is coming through. All right, 
Uh, please remember that these are general readings. They may not resonate with everyone, but I do feel like these are really strong messages that are coming through. They've been coming through strong, very, very strong. And, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also check into your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs, okay? So what is coming through the seven of swords for mental state? We've got the two of swords for our physical. We've also got the two of pentacles. Really interesting energy that's coming through for you, Taurus. Okay, let's take a look. So what I'm getting here is that there's an element of you that I am feeling. Now, again, take it as it resonates. It might be external circumstances, but in your mind, there is something that you um, might be feeling I want to say like hidden from you. Okay, this is sort of the card of, you know, uh, thievery, trickery, you know, it could even be like theft to some degree. And again, that might resonate with you if that's an experience that you've had. But I'm also getting this is about not revealing, completely revealing. We've got this two of swords that is in the physical energy, okay, the external energy, the body, right? And it feels like you might be hiding something from yourself, not allowing it to come through. I'm also getting from the universe, there might be other elements that you're trying to distract yourself with at this current time. It's also saying here that I feel that once you let go of whatever it is that you're trying to, you know, this person's really like, you know, she's in a place of stalemate. Now you might be working towards your goals or you might be working towards a project of some sort. But with this seven of swords energy, it feels like there could be more. Okay. I feel like maybe you're holding yourself back on something. There might be an element that you're not completely seeing at this time or you're not allowing it to come through at this time. If it is towards a particular project, it could even be towards a particular relationship. But what I'm getting here is like we have a lot of cards like this two of pentacles for me. Not only is this, this the infinity eight, if you look at this, like this is the infinity symbol. So it feels like you could be possibly working towards something. And I feel like this something could be extremely successful. Again, take it in whatever aspect it relates to you but what I'm getting here is that sometimes we also distract ourselves or keep ourselves busy or we juggle several things instead of really focusing on one and I feel like what is coming through here is with the seven of swords is it feels like you're not seeing something in its full light now she took off of her her blindfold even if she was under that full moon you can see how it's illuminating okay it's going to be illuminating for her she won't be in a place of feeling stalled and you might even be in a place of feeling stalled towards a particular project, person, place, thing, however, you know, take it as it, as it resonates with you. But you might feel like you're not moving forward. It might feel like you're being held back in some way. What I'm getting here is that held back feeling is only within your mind. All right. So let's take a look at what the universe has to say for clarification. We've got the sun in Gemini. We've got hone your negotiation and relationship skills communication it also talks about your inner wild child awakens that's what i'm kind of feeling it's like you're holding something back oh we have a we have a lightning storm going on here and so you're going to hear a lot of cracks and a lot of thunder i apologize <laughs> for that um it also says rise to the challenges a new path opens exactly it feels like you're in this place of feeling stalled at the moment like something new is trying to come through but you're 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 sort of holding it back okay rise to the challenge of it right rise to the challenge of what it is that will bring it through your inner wild child now when it talks about that negotiation and relationship skills this very well could be within a relationship some sort it doesn't need to be romantic it could be friends family co-workers take it as it resonates it could even could be a relationship with yourself right it even could be your higher self what i'm getting here is that for some reason you are holding yourself back you're not allowing yourself to see the full potential of something at this current moment it also talks about choose duties and responsibilities carefully exactly what i just talked about you see like that reorganization okay so you know, it even says reorganize, say reorganize something so that you're not in a place of distraction, be distraction, because it feels like you're in this stalled place right now where you're not really moving forward. You might be making little steps, or you might be making some progress, or maybe you're really keeping yourself busy on several different projects, 
okay, instead of placing your full focus on maybe perhaps one project or one, one thing that is really going to um, bring some illumination. Again, illumination. I keep feeling illumination is coming through. The chance to boost health and vitality leads to satisfaction. Look at this. We've actually got, look at all those moons that are coming through too. But I really do feel like, you know, this, this talks about contentment. I feel like for some of you, there might be a lack of contentment at this moment. Maybe you need to reevaluate a project that you're working on. Maybe there's a project that even though you know that it might bring you some success, it's not bringing in that full contentment. This might be what you need to allow to release okay that will move you away from that stagnation is what i'm getting we've also got believe in yourself yeah because courage and again you know distracting yourself with other things um or even again juggling maybe several projects is basically a way to hide some truth from ourselves is what i'm getting okay and it really feels like you might need to take off this blindfold and really sit and go you know, I like this project or whatever it is, but maybe at this point, this is not the best thing for me. Okay, maybe I'm using this as a tool of distraction in some way in order for myself to stay stagnant. So then really look into what are you, what are you staying stagnant from? Okay, again, you know, boost your health and vitality to bring some sort of satisfaction. When we're in a place of stagnancy, we're not really boosting our our own confidence right we're staying in a place of you know you know i'm, I'm kind of content where i am i'm you know you're not really seeking that success that you're desiring it feels like you are because you might be really busy you might be really juggling your mind might even be just really going you might be creating but at the same degree i feel like there might be something that you need to take a better look at in order to um, either, you know, let it go or boost it towards what it is. Negotiate. I feel like this negotiation is coming in. Negotiate within yourself. Rise to the challenges as a new path opens. And it feels like you might have to negotiate within yourself, right? Now this, you know, obviously this could have to do with people around you. Um, this could have to do with you. It could have to do, again, take it for whatever aspect it's appearing within your life at this time in decisions. Should I stay or should I go? Again, this two of pentacles, because I feel like something needs to go. Okay, something needs to go in order for you to see the full illumination of something else. It almost feels like, like if you've got, let's say, let's say you're a painter, a writer, and you know, you've got, you know, uh, you're trying to write a book let's say you you know you've got 10 different hobbies going on maybe you're a carpenter and you're doing all of these okay and all of them are basically just going to be in pieces right because you're not really finishing everything that you know this is maybe a poor example but you get what I'm you know you, you understand what I'm getting at what I'm keep seeing here is you might need to you know drop this drop this you know let's you know if you're building something let's build this let's let's work on this let's give it the full attention that it actually needs because it does give you that sense of contentment right once you build something once you see something to its full um uh full illumination really it's it's full um progression you're going to have that sense of achievement. Now you might have to go through some sort of decision. What is it that I need to go? Or what is it that I need to let go? Should you know? Do I stay with this? Do I stay with that? Go with what it is that your heart desires. Okay. It really does say here. Okay. Allow that wild child to come through. All right. And even with the hone your hone your negotiation relationship skills. You know. Again go with what relationship it doesn't need to be actual relationship but a relationship towards a project or a thing allow it to be released in order to move forward what i'm also getting here is that for some of you that are holding yourselves back in a relationship what i'm getting here is that you're fooling yourself in some way i feel like for some of you there may be somebody or something that you're desiring okay this could be towards a person it, but at the same time if you're if you're let's say Run around with things that you don't need, you know, um, maybe not in the physical sense, but you know, in the mental state, right? You're not allowing yourself to see the full illumination of somebody. 
this even could be juggling, you know, different maybe possible relationships or different ideas of relationships, whatever it is. Again, you have to take off that mask and really take a look. Go inside. Do I stay or do I go? What is it that I truly want? Believe in yourself to move forward. If you're feeling held back because of some sort of mindset, the Seven of Swords energy coming through, you might not be in the full place of where it is that you are supposed to be looking at. Okay, a lot of times, and I'm just going to give kind of a crude example, you know, um, because we all, you know, at some point in our lives, well, most of us, maybe not all, but you know what I'm saying, we've all gone through this phase where, you know, I, I, I want this relationship, but maybe this isn't fully developing. And it could be very simply because we're not putting our full attention into it. We're holding ourselves back, you know, because of some sort of fear. Maybe it is even that, um, that fear of, okay, well, am I going to get my heart broken? Is this going to work? But what we do is we tend to mess around with other things. So we might be talking to like several different people, or maybe we're going on several different dates, but really they're not bringing in that sense of contentment. Okay instead of that one person or you know that one thing that does bring us that joy right we might be trying to distract ourselves with other things and this is what it's time to take a look at look at yourself and go okay what is going to bring about this this sense of satisfaction to me right let's see what else is coming through so we've got uh work diligently towards your goals exactly what i had said before in regards to a goal it feels like you got to let something go in order to receive the full progress of the goal that means the most to you at this time and we've also got the eclipse in aries boost relationships through teamwork and compromise sometimes it's just a matter of Comp you know, when we talk about this collaboration, it's like the three of pentacles entry. We, we're collaborating. We're bringing things to fruitation. We're creating it. And sometimes what we need to do is, you know, maybe you're not fully in a place of something yet, okay, if, it, if it's in regards to relationship. But having that talk with that person and explaining your position, explaining where you are, not in a player sort of sense, not saying that, you know, like, don't be telling somebody that you're not quite ready for a relationship, but you're, you know, you're off with all of this seven of swords energy where you're literally having seven other swords. Okay. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying is that having that, you know, being able to talk to somebody, really explaining, really, you know, explaining where you are, having that teamwork and that compromise towards working toward a goal. It might even be somebody else. Maybe there's somebody that is bringing in your thinking, okay, are they bringing in this Seven of Swords energy, which is putting you into a stall or a stalemate situation. What it's saying here, I do feel like there needs to be some sort of sense of communication that comes through. But, hey, listen, if they're not willing to negotiate, brings us back to here. Should I stay or should I go? Indecision, go toward your goal. If somebody is not bringing in a particular goal for you, okay, if your goal is to be in a solid and committed relationship and somebody is over here going, yeah, well, I'm not quite ready or, I'm, you know, I got to go date this person and this person and this person and whatever it is, you know, whatever crap that they're going to throw at you, you know, in the extent that they're not giving you their full attention, that's where you got to sit there and go, should I stay or should I go? I feel like this is going to be sort of one of those weeks where you got to make some really hard decisions, okay? But it, again, it's following your heart. It's taking off that blindfold and seeing something for what it truly is, whether it's a project, whether it's a career, whether it's, you know, uh, some other aspect in your life. But I do feel that for some of you, this also could have to do with relationships, you know, it, it's like, I, you know the red flags, you, you understand the red flag, but you're not allowing yourself to see the red flags. You have them in your mind, but maybe you're not seeing them. And again, that could have to do, you know, with some sort of project, right? You're seeing the red flags, like you're seeing, like, hey, listen, you know, maybe this isn't the best project for me to go be going at. Maybe I can think about this in the future, but right now I've got to concentrate my time and effort on one particular thing or maybe a couple of different things, but I got to get out of this two of pentacles energy where I'm really just, you know, doing a lot of work and not receiving any progress, right? Okay. 
So let's take a look into relationships and see what is coming through with that. Okay, so we're going to look into relationships for Taurus for this upcoming week. This is for Sun, Moon, uh, Rising, and Venus signs. Show us what Taurus needs to look into, into uh, what they need to focus on, maybe what they need to release in regards to relationships for this upcoming week. I, did you hear that crack of thunder? Wow, that's pretty crazy, hey? Okay, so what do we got here? We got two of them, children, and we've got trust. I feel like there is some inner child issues. This could have to do, now th for some of you, this very well could have to do with, you know, children, right? It is safe for you to love. Okay, interesting, because I do feel like, again, I you know that, that, that feeling of holding yourself back in some way, it feels like for some of you, um, you've really gone through this, this, period where you're holding yourself back it's almost like you want this relationship you know what it is that you want but you're not quite bringing yourself to the steps that you need to create this relationship okay for some of you I do feel that this you know very much might involve children maybe you've had you know issues in the past where people where you felt that you didn't really want you trust people around your children it could be also you know unfortunately some people don't want somebody with children hey that's okay that's their prerogative that's their free will whatever it is but i'm also getting here that for some of you um this it could be a clearing out of something to do with your inner child okay something that you've been hanging on to some sort of thing that is bringing through a lack of trust for you it is saying for you it is safe for you to trust it is safe for you to have that faith and it's also safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all now Again, I kept feeling like there's a distraction going on. So take a look into yourself at this time and see what is distracting you. Is there something from a past that is not allowing you to feel safe or to have trust within relationships? Clear that out. This is the time to do so. I do feel that for some of you that are in relationships, I, I, I actually feel really good energy here, to be honest. <laughs> Okay. Um, you know, I, I don't say that very often, but I do feel that for some of you that are in relationships, it is, a, you know, you, that you can trust this person or there is a feeling of allowing you to trust. It may, again, involve some sort of children. I feel like there might be possibly a very good relationship in the midst here. Okay. So again, take it as it resonates for you. Listen to the messages that, um, you know, are vibrating with you, right? Um, let's get some clarifying cards in regards to this because I do, I feel like for some of you, it's like you want to trust, but that seven of swords energy keeps coming through, you know, there's a mindset somewhere that there's a distraction or it could be that, you know, maybe you were heartbroken in the past because of somebody's, you know, lack, you, you weren't allowed to have that lack of trust with this person and you felt that this person wasn't trustworthy or maybe, you know, you were just literally hurt because they were, you know, cheaters or unfaithful or whatever it was and now you're trying to bring in this this you, you know you want this to, you, you want to feel safe you want to feel safe to love but it's almost like you're distracting yourself with other things and again this could be other people it could be you know other projects whatever it is put it how it just you know resonates with you it could even just be that you're blocking it off okay you're not willing to go in to that inner child energy and really taking a look as to what it is that is um, disabling you from having that trust so let's take a look in here baby steps yeah you know when we go through that clearing out of that energy <laughs> I love it I was just about to say this we need to go deep right and it's baby steps it's not an overnight process and that's what we need to do especially when we have that seven of swords energy because for some of you you could have been really hurt in the past or there could be issues that are coming up from childhood right this could even be generational maybe you've seen generations of your family not having the best relationship and it's held you back 
because as a child we get you know we have those impressions put upon us right maybe we're seeing you know relationships of our parents not having the best relationship and we're scared to take that step forward because you know we're like oh I don't know if I really want to go through that junk right so I'm just going to distract myself with something else but it is saying it you can trust you can it, it is it, you can feel safe to love okay you can open your heart go deep x-ray vision go deep go deep into you right an x-ray goes right into those those bones it sees right through the skin it's not a surface level thing you got to go deep and again take your time this is it doesn't need to happen overnight you know this this energy but this is the start of it allowing that energy to release this is the good start of it this week right doesn't mean it's going to be finished this week for some of you it could maybe you know you'll hit upon what it is and you're just like oh okay hey that was easy done right but for some of you you might have to take those baby steps toward it bring it on bring it on it's time to do it exactly right bring it on let's let's go over your shoulder okay i do feel bunny hop jive and i'm getting the dude abides here's the thing i really feel like for some of you there is somebody around you that you can trust okay and i feel like you've been sort of looking over your shoulder at them or they could have been looking over their shoulder at you it kind of means like you know a little bit of coy uh, you know um being like I see you there, but I'm not quite ready to let you in. I know you're there. I know you're over my shoulder. I know you're there somewhere, but you know, I'm still kind of holding you back and it could be you, it could be them, but there is this feeling of trust that needs to come through this bunny hop jive for me. It feels like, you know, moving forward kind of quickly and that's okay. Um, it could even be for some of you that you have let people in too quickly and it might be saying, look at now you can take those baby steps, take those baby steps towards, you know, building this trust and that's okay. You don't need to do this overnight. The dude abides. I feel like for some of you, <laughs> straight up, I feel like for some of you, there could be somebody that, you know, um, maybe you're wanting to bring in and they're very eager to do it. Okay. They're very eager to come forward. But again, you need to have that trust. And if somebody's willing to like, you know, it's like those people that you go on a date with and then they're, they're like, oh, can we get married? No. <laughs> you know? Like, no, that's not building trust. That's not building commitment. That's, that's just building a divorce in the making right? Like, you know, let's be honest with ourselves. It's great and, and flattering when somebody wants to move ahead too quickly or, or quickly because then we're, th we're thinking, oh, great, you know, this person really cares about me, whatever. But quite honestly, the bottom line is, hate to say it, but usually those people don't care really who it's with. Like, as long as they have that, that feeling of commitment, this could be you, it could be them. Maybe you've moved into relationships too fast without really thinking about them, without really putting those baby steps and looking deep into yourself of what it really is because usually what happens is as soon as something ha um, occurs that's not you know of your plans or the fantasy of that relationship whether again you or them um, what happens is the, the relationship ends up disintegrating right because it's not fitting a certain fantasy and again I, you know that seven of swords that two of pentacles it's like a distraction from something and sometimes people jump into relationships too quickly with this set of you know fantasy land eyes simply because of the fact that they are avoiding going in and figuring out that deep dark you know truth taking those baby steps to really get to know themselves so that's what i'm receiving so pick up after yourself superhero and everything is beautiful again um here's the interesting thing I, i'm getting two things so it's safe to for you to love i do feel that first of all you have to become your own superhero for some of you this might be looking really into your own personal qualities and really bringing them out and recognizing your own self-worth because again that seven of swords energy it's sort of in a place of you know um hiding your own truths from you right even if you know even if the stuff that we're digging up is dirty and nasty and you know whatever it is it's a part of us and and you know we don't need to keep shoving it down we bring it up we face it we get it over with we deal with our inner childhood issues we move on right 
And, you know, but during that process, what we're doing is we're really becoming our own superheroes and recognizing our own courage to actually have gone through those steps, right? Those baby steps that it took. And then at the end, we are looking and we're like, look at, hey, I am beautiful. Okay. I am beautiful. I am worth you know, it is safe. I am worthy of a relationship. I am worthy of what it is that I'm seeking. I am. It is or it is safe for me to trust. Okay. It is safe for me to love. It's safe for me to trust. I can have faith in this because now I've got this extremely strong confidence within myself. I know my own worth now. I don't need to juggle or distract myself with either people or things that are no longer serving me at this time. Right now, here's the interesting thing. Pick up after yourself, right? Get rid of that baggage. Look deep, okay? A lot of people, and I'm not saying this is, you know, for the viewer particularly or anything like that. Again, take it as it resonates. A lot of people go jumping and jumping and jumping from relationships without taking that time to actually look deep within themselves and saying, look at what is it? What baggage do I have? What is it that I need to clear? What is it? Pick up after yourself. If we're, you know, if we have, if somebody's trying to come towards you, right? And you've got a road that's littered with all kinds of junk and baggage, it's going to make it they're, like they're coming zigzag, right? They got to work their way around all of this junk because it's not a clear road. And people are either going to get discouraged by that or it's, you know, they're, they're just, it's not going to be something true because you're not giving them something true to come towards either. They might jump over all of those obstacles, but who in the hell is going to do that? Like who, who wants a person to do that? That's, that's, that's not the thing right? You don't want to create that extra litter. You know, if you expect somebody else to be picking up after themselves, you should be doing it too. If you want somebody that has worked through their own past, you know, their own trauma, their, their own seven of swords energy, you have to be in that place as well right? Because otherwise all we're doing is we have seven swords, seven swords, that's 14 swords. That's a lot of clashing, right? That's a lot of issues that are going to continuously coming up and that's not going to be a secure and safe relationship. It's not going to allow you to feel safe to love. It's not going to have you to have that trust. So this might be that week, that time to take that, you know, take the initiative to really take that x-ray vision towards what it is in some aspect of your life and really take a look deep, deep down inside. And remember, this isn't going to happen overnight. It is baby steps. It does take time. That's okay. It doesn't mean it's going to take, you know, 20 years, maybe for some of you, I don't know. But, you know, it's, it's, it's about the releasing, right? So, you know, some of these things we can clear fairly quickly and we just allow them to release. We don't let them back in. It is what it is, right? Some things are going to take time. Sometimes, you know, we may have to really look into, again, you know, that inner child feeling. Look at past um, generational things. We might have to look into just whatever, you know, has held us back in the past before. Again, like I feel like repeating cycles, right? Repeating cycles is what I keep getting. It might be time to let go of some cycles in regards to relationships. And remember that these don't need to be romantic. They can be within friends, family, and co-workers, right? Take it as it resonates. Okay, let's take a look into... Uh, a card from the universe. So what does the universe have to say in regards to closing off this reading today? Let's take a look at what the universe has to say. All right. Okay, this is for Taurus for August 3rd to the 10th. And I do feel, look at that soulmate. I feel like somebody is wanting to come in. There's somebody in your path, I feel. Okay, this even could be within you. Take off your mask, right? In order to reach this, you have to release this. You have to take off that mask. You have to be authentic. You have to be vulnerable. You have to allow yourself to trust. You have to have, you know, that willingness to move forward with that sense of love. Take that time. Really dig deep into yourself. Like I had said, we had that x-ray that came through, x-ray vision. 
that you know they're really telling you here look at this soulmate this person and again this soulmate could be even just within yourself it could be the person that you're with it could be a person of interest take it as it resonates um but in order to find out who you are you have to take that mask it might even be taking off that mask in order to bring this soulmate closer okay especially if there's somebody that you've had you know your eye on or an interest in and you're wondering okay why isn't this person coming closer maybe it's time for you to take off your mask right we always tend to look at other people and we go oh you know maybe they're not being open and honest well are you okay you know dig into yourself first allow yourself to be vulnerable first right again soulmate could even be within your higher self it could be just you right and in order to find out what is hidden and buried underneath within that seven of swords energy we really need to get into a place where we've taken off of our mask okay interesting we've got the moon coming through because things again hidden you know hidden psychic insights right but i feel like there are things underneath the surface this moon is bringing that illumination to it. it's telling you we have that two of swords energy illuminate illuminate what it is that is bringing you um <clears throat> that is holding you back okay illuminate where it is that you truly want to be really dig deep down we've got remove your mask you know <laughs> we had x-ray vision we had the moon time to go in time to go in Taurus even if you think that you have keep going right keep going we've also got this king of pentacles so he's in a very solid place he's in a very solid state what i'm actually getting here is this king of pentacles you know he's grounded he's also you know this is very much earth energy right and i feel like this is what you're striving towards that success whether it's you know it's in some sort of matter of abundance whether it's within relationships whether whether it's in career finances whatever it is you want to reach the sense of um this king of pentacles this sense of abundance here's the thing you have to go through these procedures first you have to go through these steps first okay really look deep okay the king of pentacles doesn't hang on to a lot of baggage he doesn't you know he's not in the process of making 10,000 different projects he's he's like nope this is what i'm going to do i'm going to focus in on this he's very you know he's grounded right he's direct He's somebody that you can trust and i feel that for some of you this is the type of person that you also want to draw towards you not only is it a person that you want within yourself but again somebody that you want within your life you want this grounded energy this sense of security to do it you have to dig deep it's time now to stop juggling start focusing on what it is that you desire allow it to bring through let go of those old beliefs dig into that inner child uh whatever is holding you back okay this is what i'm feeling i truly hope that this has helped taurus and if this reading resonated with you please click like please share the video please subscribe to my channel i truly appreciate it have an amazing week and many blessings take care